In Read Live, you can create groups to conveniently view and report on students. A group can be a class, a reading group, all students from a homeroom, or any set of students that you want to work with or report on together. Let's watch Paul Ramos, a reading specialist at Springfield Elementary, add a new reading group. First, Paul logs in by entering his user ID and password. Then, he clicks the My Groups tab. On this page, teachers can view some basic information about their groups and click any group's name to edit the information. Today, Paul wants to add a new group, so he clicks Add Group. First, he enters the group name and description. Now he needs to select the students to add to his group. Paul uses the filters to reduce the number of names in the list to make it easier to find the students he's looking for. In the grade filter, Paul selects the grade of the students in his period 4 class and clicks Apply Filter. Now he can see only the third graders, which makes it easier to select the students he wants to add to the group. Paul selects the students to add by clicking each name and then clicking the arrow button. He can select multiple students by holding down the Shift key or the Control key while clicking. Once he's added the students to the group, he clicks Save. Notice that the Period 4 group has been added to the list. On the Read Naturally Live page, Paul can view just the students in his Period 4 reading group by using the filter. In the Group filter, he selects Period 4 and clicks Apply Filter, and only the students in that group are displayed. Now he can quickly view information or make changes for the whole group. From this page, Paul could place each of the students, print stories, letters, or awards for the students, or he could click the Reports tab to generate a report for all the students in the group. Today, Paul needs to change the story options for all of the students in the group, so Paul checks the box at the top of the list of names to select every name and then clicks Story Options. In the Required Practice menu, Paul selects Two, which will require each student in this group to practice each Read Naturally Live story independently at least twice. Notice that students can belong to more than one group. Paul has added Laura March to his Period 4 group. He also added Laura to a group he created that lists all of his students who are in Andrew Lynn's homeroom. The software also enables you to delete groups. Paul wants to delete the Period 2 group, which still includes three students. When you delete a group, only the group will be deleted, not the students in it. To delete a group, check the box next to the name of the group you want to remove. Then click Delete Group and Confirm. Notice that Javier, Elena, and Cole still appear in the software. 